Hello, everybody. How's it going? I got Sandman and Zeno, but I guess you guys already know that. Sandman. Doing pretty good. I wonder why they're on team. I guess because of the color. I don't oh, no, never mind. All right, well, I was busy playing my set, so I didn't get to see much of the first game, but I see that Sandman won it. It's going to be in pr pretty interesting. Uh, just let me know if I'm, I'm too quiet or too loud. That jab, a lot of damage, actually. Wow. But I guess that's expected a K rule. Surprise, Sandman's kind of going in his face, probably because of um, the blunderbuss and the crown. But I guess that's, that's working because it's overwhelming him a lot. Yeah, he's... Okay. Ooh, got a bit of the armor, but that forward smash with the purple pigment. No, that was with the red. That's pretty good. Ooh, that belly is really close to breaking. Oh, my. Is he going to get the belly break? Oh, no, it's refreshing. Sandman, you need some Pikmin. But that purple Pikmin's going to help because he just does a beefy damage. Then blue Pikmin. That was good. Yeah, the nice forward air. He's just trying to keep him off the stage, but because he got pushed back from that crown, he's just, you know, Zeno's regained stage control. I also like Zeno's Twitter handle. Good JoJo reference. Ooh, the spike. Oh, almost had the up air. That would have been a clean stock. My well, Sandman basically is just a full stock on him. Was well, with blue Pikmin. Is that going to get... No, good DI. That was really good DI by Zeno. All right, let's see how Zeno reacts. Ooh, that down smash. Ooh, no, no, just enough DI. Ooh, tried to go for the spike and missed it. That may screw him. Yeah, that down tilt. And then that forward smash. Olimar's beefy this game. 
Oh, we got that cracked glass. Or does it only last for... Okay, it's only last during an attack. We got sucked up by the blunderbuss and ended up dying because of that. Ooh. Ooh, hit the belly. Doesn't look like any damage was done to it, though. All right. Yeah, just trying to just trying to juggle him, which is working really well for him. Holy. All right. Now he's just trying to push him off the stage, but it's not working. Okay, now he got him off the stage. Let's see what happens. Okay, we lost his crown. Looks kind of doofy without his crown. We got his crown back. Hit him with the clap. That suck was a is a pretty good edge guard tool. But Sandman was oh he tried to get around it, but he couldn't. Oh, and then just the like ball hit him. I don't know about that spot dodge. That I think he may have been able to hold it more, but yeah, maybe he figured out that Sandman might figure out what he's doing. He has to play really passive even though he's a heavy right now. Lost his crown again. That's not good, especially if their purple Pikmin forward throw. Youch. Sandman won that set. 2 0. Uh, I don't know who's playing next on stream, but it's good. We'll, we'll see who. Ooh, we got we got Big D. We got Dawson. Dawson up here. Uh, and he is against someone I do not recognize. Uh, I won't touch the computer because I don't know what... Oh, this is that guy, Late. I believe is how you pronounce his name, Late. Big D versus Late. Uh, Big D, probably going on King DDD, but he's kind of a notorious for just having every character. Not every character, but, oh, four or five. So we'll see how that comes. Now, uh, starting, I believe it was the Novice, tur novice Tournament that we are now using the Genesis rule set. So, got a lot, couple more stages. Got another ban. Ooh, okay. Big D taking the time to uh, have some fun and decides he wants to play Ice Climbers. He did play Ice Climbers in Brawl. Then we got late on Pikachu. This is going to be really interesting. Interesting, fun match. I may have to hop off commentary soon. I don't know when my set will be ready. But once it happens, then, you know, I'll pop off and I'll come back on afterwards. All right. I think they're just kind of chasing him around. Ooh, it looks like he may have gone the desync, which is great for him, especially if he gets the, that forward air. He's already at 100% or late. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ooh, that up smash. Perfect. I think it was an up smash out of shield, but I may have not. I may have misinterpreted that. The triple thunder. The third one didn't connect, though. That was kind of shocking. Literally. All right, the up tilt into up air. Up tilt, up air, back air. Big D just taking, like, putting house on this guy. This man, I believe, was seated pretty low, so... There's no ESAM. Ooh, the up smash. Almost had it, but that was good DI. All right, he's, no, he's split two ICs up. This could be good, but he gets hit by the up air from Nana, actually. Nana. Ooh. Ice Climbers seem pretty strong in this game. Uh, I think with a lot of, like, heart and dedication, they could work. Right, Big D. Big D's like, I need, I need Popo back. Because he's actually controlling Nana through this ult instead of Popo. Ooh, it looked like he had the desync there for a second. He could have. He he tried. I, I I felt like the desync combo coming. He he wanted to do something dirty. 
Ooh, oh, nice tech jump. Ooh, the spike, trying to keep him off stage now, which was working until he got slightly poked by the quick attack. Ooh, the forward smash just gets the stock. Oh, just Nana, or Popo just te teleports, it disappears. All right, hold up. I got my set. I gotta go. Blow.